If you use the four-part name, you're letting SQL Server decide what's local and remote. If you use the open data source, you're saying, pass me all the data here, I want to do it locally if I can. But you can also force SQL Server to pass through the query so that it's processed completely remotely. The most common way is with OpenQuery, and OpenQuery again uses the linked server definition, the CHA1 schedule definition, and execute. There we are. So it actually passed to Excel this select statement of select star from tour where tour is equal to the gully river rafting and got back the answer. And the connection to Excel is made through the JET database engine. So that's how the select statement was actually executed. And just to demonstrate doing an update through an open query, let me first open Excel to check the initial data. There's the spreadsheet. And gully river rafting has two rows, the base camp is West Virginia. Now I have to close the spreadsheet again because Excel is not really good at multi-user operations. So we're talking about update. I know that's in the next lesson, but here's the update command. Update is update a table source, set a column to a value where something is true. And then open query is serving as the entire table. So this goes out and selects certain rows. Then we'll update to Asheville. And execute. The two rows affected came back from Excel. The one row affected came back from SQL Server saying, hey, the open query worked. Let's go back and check the data. Crossing my fingers. Hey, there it is. Got changed to Asheville from West Virginia. And of course, there's a method of doing a pass-through query where we don't depend upon the linked server, but we provide the connection information ourselves right in the query. And that's open row set. So here's the provider, name of the server we are connecting to. We're using trusted connection. And then here's the select statement being passed to the remote server. Then the open row set appears to be a table to the outer query. We could join with it, do whatever we want to with it. Execute, and there's the data.